Hello and welcome back to another Star Citizen video. I know this one's a little bit late because this was released two days after this record. I mean, not say after, uh, before this recording, right? Two days before this recording. And the most interesting part actually is not about Star Citizen. It's about Starfield. Yeah, <laughs> but I know Star Citizen did take a little jab at it. But more importantly is that we have options. We have options to play Star Citizen if you want to. I would play Star Citizen. Or if you want to play Starfield, that's also good and great. Right? The reason why I'm not playing Starfield at the moment is because I like Internet Spaceship. And right now, Star Citizen is the only game that has the most selection of Internet Spaceships. <laughs> Or rather spaceships in general, right? No Man's Sky is actually not, not bad when you want the whole package. But we are not talking about those two games. We are talking about Star Citizen's latest patch, which is Alpha 3.2. Before we begin, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow. And let's check out what do we have. And the tagline is fully loaded. I wonder what do we have in store? Of course, there's a lot of big things. Obviously, the first one, there's a revamp of um, Arena Commander, which I think it's great. We have two ships, uh, two new ships, yes. Well, not, really, not to say really new ships. The Fury is technically a different variant, a hull variant. Yeah, and of course, we got the hull. The hull series, or rather the hull C, the king of cargo running if you're a big cargo hauler and cargo running and a cargo person you want to be a space trucker the whole series is the way to go anyway let's go straight to it right so we have the fury uh, we have the whole c we, we're gonna do a little sneak peek for this video right but we're not we're gonna go in depth on another video instead arena commander nice all right fury. Yeah, a lot of a lot of arena commander stuff in general, and of course because where there's new fly uh flight ready ship, obviously you need the gameplay for it, and the whole C is a very unique cargo hauler whereby it cannot land to unload cargo. It has to unload the cargo in a space station or rather outside of a space station, and that is physicalized cargo updates. That is a big big deal. What else? Committal salvage, ship cover up, okay, more stuff. Seraphim station. So this is the replacement for Port Olisar. So RIP Port Olisar, you will actually I, I really missed it. I really miss it already because Port Olisar is a very unique space station. Highly unique space station. Because it's the first in the verse. And I started with that. I started with Port Olisar. And it has a tremendous history with it. I mean, I have a tremendous history while playing Star Citizen. So Port Olisar, it, it, it's a very special... I mean, it has a special place in my heart. And I know they want to do something about it. I don't think they have... Yeah, I'm not going to say anything at the moment. And of course, we have ship offers. That's the fun bit. All right. First thing first. Big, big PSA. A lot of people are, are talking, I mean, throwing shades at Star Citizen, but I think it's warranted anyway because it is something that they don't really publicize it too much. But at the same time, people like me, <laughs> I'll be talking about Internet Spaceship all day long. And obviously, I'll be talking about the one that you can buy for real money. Now, all this ship even though you can buy with real money, it's purchasable in the game with in-game currency and you just need to grind for it. So everything is obtainable in-game at the moment. There's probably, okay, I won't say all yet because the question is what about the Kraken, the, the big ships, the capital ships like the Javelin, the Krakens, the Idris, are they purchasable in-game? If the answer is yes, then that's fantastic, right? Because those ships are expensive. Those ships are thousand plus. But good news is the 890 jump, even though it's close to a thousand dollars, you can get it in game with in game currency. So that's why I don't think any ship is off the table uh, yet. 
is not locked by paywall so that's good that's great so all you need to do is have a starter pack and i don't think we have a discounted starter pack right now yeah i think we missed the discounted starter pack it was on the ship showdown and no was it on ship showdown i kind of forgotten about it yeah but every time there's there's a discounted starter pack i will always make a video for it so unfortunately this particular update we don't have so let's start off with the dragonfly black 40 dollars easy skip fury easy skip because there's no jump drive fury lx that's what we're gonna check later the mx easy skip the hall a i think it's okay ish yeah it's a it's a profession starter hauler so if you want i mean at 90 dollars hall a i think it's okay hall c at 500 dollars 500 dollars this ship just went up in price a lot because i think previously the hall c was 350 dollars wow wow okay before we go to hall c we will go check out the ships first m50 this is one of my favorite favorite racing slash interceptor ship out there that's why i need to put i need to put the fury lx into into the i mean uh test drive and see how good it is because the m50 is fantastic i love the m50 the mustang gamma yes it's cheaper much much cheaper same price with the fury lx unfortunately the fury lx is a little bit just a little bit better in terms of racing but the mustang gamma has a jump drive so gamma is better <laughs> a much more jack of all trade uh, close to jack of all trades means you can do much more stuff versus the lx lx can't really you, you need that you need a main ship nova 1020 dollars any ground vehicle immediately i would always not recommend in general but i like the tank all right nox at 45 yeah nox skip the p72 archimedes this is a parasite ship uh, basically there's no jump drive 35 dollars i know it's cheap but i would skip the razor the razor is 145 dollars now this little racing ship it's nice in fact i would say it's much better than the m50 but the price tag is a little bit crazy <laughs> yeah so not to say i don't want to recommend but it's hard to recommend if you want to spend real money that that is not the ship to buy okay i'll, I'll put it hands down that's not the ship to buy buy it in game instead right same goes with the ex and obviously if you look at the variants the few the razor is the base version the ex is a stealth version and the lx so ex stealth lx is more speed more catered to speed or luxury actually you know what forget about luxury lx is speed speed built or speed tune if you yeah like all those fancy cars sports car of course there's speed tune right of course i i like nissan a lot so if you if you go to nissan that's nismo so nismo is the speed tune version right so that's that anyway next is the reliant tana wow they put the tana inside here interesting last but not least we have the 350r 350R is actually a very nice ship, but $125. Actually, this ship has a bit. So in general, if you want something, a racing ship, but a little bit more amenities and a bit more pew pew, the 350R actually fits the build. So, but the reason why I hate the 350R right now is that the engine for the 350R is terrible, terrible. It used to be very nice, okay? It used to be very, very nice. And that's that. Yeah, that's that for the patch 3.2 overview. We're going to look at Arena Commander, right? So I've, I've read some of them already. It's fantastic. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So we have, obviously, we have a first-person shooter. We have vehicle, I want to say Battle Royale. No, basically PvP, either on foot or with vehicles. Mm, nice and then obviously racing gets a nice overhaul which is great 
yeah racing dog fighting fps and community inspired yeah okay cool cool so yeah these are, are the maps for you to pew pew and race that's that's fine and dandy and i think they change a little no, no, ui didn't change too much I, I thought they changed a lot but no it, this is probably around the same layout just a few fancier details here and there so obviously the biggest change is the back end yeah it's, it's a bit hard to deploy oh okay yeah okay yeah the one right now it's missing from arena commander is theater of wars to be honest i've been waiting for that the battlefield-esque for star citizen that is a huge huge deal yeah tank royale that's what they call master mode flight mode will change okay yeah that's for racing endless vendul swarm wow <laughs> wow so that's this yeah much much more which is nice which is great one of the much needed uh mode in my opinion yeah one of the much needed mode the only question is does a lot of people play on it that's that's the only question talking about that let's go to the fury alex uh alex lx all right i'm gonna call it alex instead right <laughs> alex lx and yeah look at that look at the sleek sleek uh what you call this paints or vinyls you, yeah do you call it vinyl instead because paint scheme you know what? so racy so racer look at all the sponsors this is nice very very nice okay we're gonna go straight to the price tag all right we're not gonna go in that we're not, not. how much can you get the lx for 50 dollars and the most important question that i always ask when you buy what a serial number that's gimmick oh wow they really put a gimmick that i like terrible the one that i want is actually lifetime insurance okay let's just put it there lifetime insurance so good warborn lifetime insurance fantastic the alex serial number is the icing and uh, no, the cherry on top yeah the cherry on top the icing of the cake it's like icing on the cake uh, you know I, i'm getting that wrong <laughs> the, the serial number is 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 gimmick right it's fluff it's just extra perk but the lifetime insurance is the one that i want now a lot of people says it doesn't really matter in true honesty it doesn't really matter at the moment but for me to control myself from buying a lot of spaceship yeah i, I need lifetime you will never see my fleet without lifetime insurance. Zero, except unfortunately, because I got into Star Citizen a bit late. By late, I mean very late, but not late, that late. Because if I'm on the early Kickstarter backers, then I will have a lifetime insurance uh, startership. Unfortunately, I don't. That's why I say it's not really a big deal because how they revise the insurance plan, I think it's good. If you spend real money on ships, you should not lose the ship because they want to follow something like EVE Online. But EVE Online only works because all the ships are purchasable in-game. You don't need to spend real money. So for Star Citizen, it's a little bit... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very taboo back then. So in my opinion, at least they revise it. So if you buy with real money your insurance it, you know you you should not lose your ship at all maybe you take a bit longer time to claim back that's that's fine yeah you should not lose your ship that's the keyword you should not lose your ship uh, and if yeah anyway store credit is 55 dollars paint nobody gives it i don't i don't care if i were you no if you were me i will not buy paint at all never say no to pain yeah no unless it's free then i think it's okay but if you want me to buy no 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 so if i would upgrade oh standard upgrade that's it's not a warborn upgrade okay not bothered not bothered so that's that for fury lx next we're gonna move on to hall c of course we got hall a yeah, Hall A is nice. Okay, we're gonna... Hall A is a single pilot starter 
trucker profession right if you want to get into this profession yeah the hall a is your is the starting point how much would it cost let's check stand alone 90 dollars six months insurance yeah we don't care we don't care we care about hall c because hall c is a new spanking ship in the verse and it's huge it's nice it's it's just nice okay it's nice <laughs> And in some cases, if you look at the ship, it's a uh, phallic. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't pronounce that name anymore. I, yeah, no, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It extends. <laughs> it looks something and it extends. Special offer, war bond offer, $450. Store credit is $500. Ooh, crazy. Now, the good part is at least we got war bond upgrade. That is nice. So what is the ship that we can upgrade to the Prowler for $10? Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. That is good. That is... Okay. Yeah. No, I was thinking of other ships. Yeah. Cool. So that's that for Halsey. We're not going to go in depth as well, in my opinion. Uh, forget about skin. Skins are useless. In this case, $16 for a skin. No, 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 no. If you really, 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 really want to buy some cosmetic item out there, the only cosmetic item that I can easily recommend without too much drawback per se, I, in, in fact, I still say no, it's Citizen Con's goodie package. If you really want to spend money on cosmetic, the Citizen Con goodie package is still, it's a better choice in my opinion. Yep. And yeah, we, we, we can visit that um, next on the next video. Yeah, this video is getting too long already. So that's all I have for you for today. Hope, I mean, it is a weekend for me while I record this video. So I'm going to enjoy a little bit. And I hope you enjoy Star Citizen too. Yeah. Is it free to, oh no, it's not. Ah, the, the, free to, the, the free fly it was on Ship Showdown. And Ship Showdown has a discounted starter pack. Mm. If you missed it, all right, this is another PSA. Yeah, if you reach this to this to this, um, if you have reached to this end of this video, ugh, I I I am not gonna edit too much. Okay, I like it. Um, not to say unscripted. I like it to be one edit, <laughs> one record. If not, I have to re-record the whole thing. Is that there will be always a discounted starter pack out there there will be free flies for you to try so you don't really need to jump in if you're on the fence right now that's the fun bit and that's the, the best part about star citizen all right internet spaceship will always be here it will never run away plus the anniversary sale is very no, i want to say very near next month is sit uh, citizen con and then November is the anniversary sale. So if I were you, if I'm on the fence, just chill, wait for the discount to start the pack, and there will be more goodies. Trust me, trust me. Uh, instead of trust me, bro, you can always wait for my next Star Citizen video out there. That's why you want to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button and help this channel grow, right? And I'll bring you more Star Citizen news. And most of them is usually discounted starter pack ships that I think it's worth picking up if you want to spend real money. If not, every ship is purchasable in the game. Except for the Idris and the Javelin. Even though you can fight against them, but they are not pilotable at the moment. Yeah, that's that's the that's the caveat at the moment. But all ships are purchasable in the game. All if you don't want to buy, you can rent for a cheaper price. Even better, you can test out. And that's it. That's all I have for you. And join Alpha 3.2. I would see you in the verse and fly safe.